Oh, that is not cool, dude. Not cool. Oh. Oh. What a way to start the trip. Why not, you know? What do you do? Oh man, <laughs> I've been busy. I've been really, really busy. If you're brand new to the channel, my name is Sam Sobey. We do fishing, hunting, everything outdoors, tell stories. And that's been kind of put on hold at least for like the past two weeks. But I want to say for the past three weeks, I've really only spent a handful of nights at home uh, in my own bed. We've just been ripping. This has been the busiest July of my entire life, no doubt. And we've been going down south, back up north, up farther north, this tournament, that tournament, back home, shoot here, shoot there, film this. You know when you're a kid and and you've got like a big group project coming up and maybe you haven't started it for a while? That's what I feel like um, after just accumulating like two to three weeks worth of footage. Um, I've just, I've got a lot of it and I haven't had time to edit it. But um, I'm going to give you kind of a very short vlog version of what's been happening in the past three weeks. It's been so good. Uh, after getting back from up north and fishing a couple tournaments here, Tourney Tuesday, I hopped on a plane and I went to ICAST. And ICAST stands for, I looked it up, International Convention of Allied Sport Fishing Trades. It's just like the biggest sport fishing trade show ever. made it to palm tree country and the world's largest sport fishing show ICAST 2023 um, I'll, I'll tell you more later I'm just I'm excited to get here and it's freaking hot here I ordered chocolate. Oh, sorry. So I cast in a nutshell was unbelievable. Um, it's so cool how kind of the whole fishing industry, it doesn't matter if you're on the salt side, freshwater, bass fishing, pike fishing, rods, reels, baits, vendors, retailers, factories, everybody comes together um, for one giant show for like three or four days. You get to meet brand new people from different sides of the industry. You get to see old friends you wouldn't see otherwise. And it's just, 
It's an incredible deal. Huge shout out to Rapala. Um, the unveiling of Crush City and the plastics went amazing. And for the opportunity to go down there and be a part of that, I'm I'm forever grateful. It was an incredible experience for just a small town Minnesota boy like me. But um, yeah, right after ICAST, flew home, stayed up all night, did some editing, rigged rods, rigged the boat, attached everything, packed up everything in a rush, and pointed my nose north for the second stop of the Champions Tour. And um, here's a bunch of footage from that. I might put out a full-length video from this, but... It's just, it's been nuts, but busy is good. We are off and running to the races. I woke up at like three in the morning and it's like 8 a.m. now, if you can believe it. it. Took me that long to kind of just finish some computer work and finish packing stuff up. We've been running and gunning from Florida back to Minnesota to ripping around to up north to here to there. It's been, it's been nuts. I'll tell you more along the way, but either way, we're heading up north for stop number two of the Champions Tour. I'll explain more later. Let's let's get on the road and get some miles under us. Oh, that is not cool, dude. Not cool. That'll, that'll get the blood pumping. That is a wicked dent. It's just a little pull off onto this highway here and I came around it and I'd hit some wicked big pothole and it was, I knew right away, I was like, she is just a goner. That hole must be giant. I was busy down there getting after it, and this guy in a, a black ram pulled up. His name is Logan. Logan, if you watch this video, or if anybody from Buffalo, Minnesota watches this video, Logan's an awesome dude. Um, I cannot thank him enough. We're back. We're, we're rolling. <laughs> okay. All right, everything looks potentially par for the course. I dug a little hole so I didn't have to bring my jack up as far. Oh, what a way to start the trip. Why not, you know? What do you do? All right, next stop, the lake. All right. Shut her down. Okay, current time check, it is 6.40 p.m. Uh, we've been out here for, I wanna say, at least three or four hours now. Um, not a ton of time. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm digging this lake. Uh, it's very big, it's very deep, it's very clear. There's docks everywhere. It has a lot of pleasure boaters, but at first glance, the water is like crystal clear. The weeds grow out deep, and um, I'm just, you know, side imaging around looked at some high percentage spots just big main lake points and there's there's freaking a ton of bass out here i'm not catching giants by any means but i'm catching a lot of bass which is kind of relieving going into a champions tour event where each bass counts um total weight throughout the whole entire day this is something's busting there i'll show you here there's a lot of what i'm targeting on the 360 i don't know how well you guys can see it but i'm in 25 feet of water Right up next to here, there's a whole bunch of rocks and it's just a real hard weed edge. A bunch of fish are kind of popping up right here on the edge. I'm gonna make a cast kind of right there. We'll see if I can just pop one. They're not big, but they're choking. Searching some new spots offshore, finding some quality. Look at the tummy. Some of these fish out here are so healthy. It's a true mix offshore. It really seems like they're really good quality or they're just rats. Uh, I'm really trying to find schools of like two pounders, the in-betweeners loaded up and it's like, I'll pop a big and then I'll pop some smalls. <laughs> It's just, it's good. It's all good things, but I don't know. We'll see if he has friends. Catching plenty of these today too. Oh, if that was in the spring, he'd be dead. It's a 
pretty cool statue right there. Look at that. Sasquatch. <laughs> That's a giant wood carving. It's pretty sweet. Final day of practice has been pretty slimy. I'm the absolute pike king today. Let's see you, buddy. Oh, you good? Yeah, he's good. I got out here pretty early this morning. Haven't really touched the camera all day. I've just been really keeping my head down. And I, I really haven't found a lot today, which is not good. We got a big kind of weather system pushing in here. Um, it's supposed to rain really bad at like three o'clock. Pre-tournament meeting is tonight at six o'clock. And yeah, that's, that's the report from me. A few more dock stretches, one offshore spot that's okay, but overall I didn't, I didn't really build a lot on my practice for this final half day. Ran around a lot, looked at a lot of things and just, I don't know. And um, yeah, we're heading out of the pre-tournament meeting. It's at this place called Moonlight at the Whitefish Chain. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. So we're gonna go there, get all checked in, get registered. And then yeah, probably back here and I'm just gonna do a lot of rigging from there. So next stop, pre-tournament meeting. Hey, Bertha, Clamshell, Trout, and Rush Lake is the first half. Second half, Rush Lake again. And then Cross Lake, Pine, Daggett, all that is second half. High five. That's a mm -hmm. How you feeling about second half? Can you do it again? I, I don't know. I burned a lot of stuff. You but... can't see it, but he's a mental absolute wreck right now. And yeah. uh, I'm trying to hold it in. Yeah. He's panic at the disco banks right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, hooks straight to the mouth. Straight to the dome. Boom. Big Boom. Boom. All right, period number one is over. Struggle bus. I rode the struggle bus today. Ollie kept me in good spirits. But it's just period number one. We're not crazy out of it by any means, like. Tournament is over. I'm pulling off the lake now. I got to rush home. Uh, heading to one of my best buddies' weddings tomorrow, Brent Lopez. Him and Danny D Money are getting married. 
And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm reflecting kind of after the award ceremony tournament's over. Good buddy Jacob Novak took the W and it's so well deserved. He's an amazing angler, incredible human being. And um, he earned it. He earned every single bit of it. But as far as my tournament went, I'm just, I'm still reflecting. So I'm, um, it's a freaking rush. This Champions Tour circuit I'm fishing this summer, which is an extremely competitive pro level circuit in the Midwest, um, is an absolute rush. Every bass counts, uh, high entry fees, big payouts, and it's against some of the top competition throughout the whole Midwest, and it's an absolute freaking rush. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna put out a full video on this day, but I'm learning a lot. I'm learning how other guys are breaking down water, how to break down water and adjust on the fly, what to do if I spin out, what to do if my fish aren't going. I'm just, I'm learning to be a much more efficient angler, break down water, and I'm being humble along the whole process. And I just, I love it. I love the Champions Tour. They run a great format and um, I'm just learning a lot. I'm learning a ton and I think I'm getting a lot better from it, so. And right after the Champions Tour, rushed home, fished some Tourney Tuesdays. I've got so much footage from that too. Um, been shooting some documentaries with Rapla. There's so much in the woodworks I'm excited to talk to you guys about. And it's just, it's been a whirlwind um, from bouncing up north to down south to back here to there. Had some fun times with family friends. Brody days, did a bunch of bass fishing with good family friends. And then um, gone fishing with some really cool folks for the future anglers in Minnesota for some... Uh, for some foundation purposes it's it's been awesome been spending a lot of time in the boat not enough time behind the computer and we've just been busy but busy's good so i hope you guys are having a phenomenal summer i hope you're staying busy hope you're spending time on the water spending time with family and friends getting outside and enjoying the short period of time we get in the midwest where we can be sweating standing outside in shorts and um yeah i'm just here to tell you that's a little update for me for the past two weeks i'm gonna start cracking down on the computer getting in a routine again and um, there's a lot more videos to come so thank you for being patient thank you for watching this video all the way to the end i guess there's not left to be said then stay tuned and as always let the adventure begin oh my pretty babe something ain't right got to find a way to move ahead oh my pretty babe